Every four years in the middle of Northern Hemisphere winter, the world's attention turns to the Olympics for two weeks in February. This year, the 21st Winter Olympics open on February 12th in Vancouver, British Columbia, the second time the Winter Games have been held in Canada. Now, Vancouver is the largest metropolitan area to ever host a Winter Olympics, with a population of more than 2.5 million. About 120 miles north of Seattle, Vancouver is a low-altitude seaport city with a relatively mild winter climate moderated by the Pacific Ocean. In fact, it'll be the warmest city ever to host a Winter Olympics, with an average February high of 46.5, an average low around 35. In an average February, the temperature only goes below freezing on nine days, and the city only gets 3.7 inches of snow. And as a result, the outdoor events are being held at venues well outside the city. Freestyle skiing and snowboarding about 20 miles north at Cypress Mountain, where elevations max out around 5,400 feet, while the Nordic events, alpine skiing and sliding events such as bobsled and luge will be contested another 50 miles north near Whistler, where peaks reach to around 7,500 feet. Now, this part of the world has had a relatively mild winter so far, one of the warmest on record. Here's a look at the temperature departure from average for the month of January, a huge area of more than six degrees warmer than average that includes much of British Columbia. In fact, 35 of the last 36 days have been warmer than average in Vancouver. Now, Whistler is far enough inland and high enough in elevation that it's received plenty of snow this winter, in fact, almost record-breaking amounts, but that's not the case at the Cypress Ski Area. Because of the relatively mild weather and several bouts of rain, the slopes there were closed three weeks ago to preserve the snow that remained. Fortunately, Olympic organizers began a massive snowmaking operation back in November, storing snow under tarps at nearby higher elevations. Those stockpiles are being pushed, trucked and even helicoptered to where they're needed and then shaped to create the freestyle and snowboard courses. But bales of straw are being used underneath the snow to build up the base. This is the first time since the 1964 Winter Olympics in Innsbruck, Austria, that organizers have had to resort to these measures. At those games, the Austrian army carved out 20,000 ice blocks from a mountaintop for the bobsled track and moved tens of thousands of cubic yards of snow for the alpine skiing courses. Right now, there's little hope for significant snow at Cypress Mountain before the games open, but officials insist the venues will be in Olympic-ready condition. And by the way, the 2014 Winter Olympics will be held in Sochi, Russia, on the Black Sea, the first time that Russia has ever hosted the Winter Games. Fred is back with our extended forecast next.